Welcome to Dorsta. Today we're talking to a US 3D modeler. Let's go! So, uh, Vector, what's your take on the US scene of 3D modeling? Honestly, the best thing I can say on, on US 3D modeling, it's it's mostly really heavy in like a Western style. Mm -hmm. Like it's all about realism. It's not really about on average, like like stylized or like, you know, cartoonish looking characters. Um mm -hmm. I'd say I I I'd say at most, like sure, like the realism style is nice, but like personally for someone like me my style is not actually welcomed as much in my country because people just want realism especially in the industry because i also do studio work um but um mm -hmm. even though they don't really accept this style i always know that th there's always people out there like on social media especially vr chat and like indie game developers will always accept that kind of style and it's, it's a very niche mm -hmm. style for sure very niche style um in terms of like this like you know the shading of like a of like a character model for example like it's it's so new that people are still researching tools and such to to really make mm. it work and get the style going yeah oh so um how do you think that compares to like the japanese type avatars i actually think the some 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 noticeable differences i have to say is is the general way of how the models are textured especially how they get the shading and also proportion is definitely a um a huge factor regarding to how 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 a like like a western anime model and a and a and a eastern model like anime model would look because you know based off where you come from you have reference from like you know like the common people you see around you and you mm -hmm. know everyone has different looks around the world so i would say that um i would just have to say that like when it comes to just the differences i have to say that it's mostly just regarding to the general proportions of the model and 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 the stylistic choices especially when it comes to the texturing process for uh creating the model mm, so for um what do you think the two most important qualities for uh an american vr user are for his avatar important quality yeah like is it facial expressions hand gestures oh. um cool noises something like that Honestly, I will have to go with facial expressions because facial expressions is what really makes like the 3D, like, you know, like the model's personality really stand out. The, mm -hmm. the reason why I say to really make it stand out is because usually when when you make a model and it's like in T-pose or something, right? It looks very lifeless or you could say soulless inside. So like actually making the facial expressions will definitely will definitely make it look a lot better and personally i think that's the most essential thing because that's what really expresses yourself in vr also because you're in vr you have to express yourself through facial expressions of course so <laughs> if you don't have any it's just not really gonna work hmm. i don't have any do you think yeah. <laughs> See, that's why you put the glasses <laughs> on eh? <laughs> what um do you think that's that's the same in the japanese canon then Oh yeah, for sure. Um, mm -hmm. well, as you may know, like you know, the style like uh, originates from from Japan. So like, generally, us Americans or people in the West in general, um, we always try and imitate. Well, I want to say we imitate, but like we take notes and like you know, like um, we try and like, like you know, exercise their practices and try and make another practice out of it. Type type of deal mm -hmm. because like, you know. You're just not really going to get the exact style on average unless you truly practice it and like especially get used to the culture especially mm -hmm. in japan and like understand like their like you know like the general looks you would see and like proportions because proportions vary on in in in, in what part of the world you live in so mm -hmm. the reason why i say proportions is just strictly because like proportions can determine a lot like you know like if 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 it was made by like um you know a japanese artist or or western artist like or like you know mm -hmm. like you know like a western artist or an eastern artist in general but mm -hmm. yeah what 
What's your current ambition with your avatars? My current ambition, I used to do a lot of studio work. Personally, I don't like corporate corporate work. I kind of want to be my own boss. I want to mm -hmm. make character models that people enjoy and, you know, and you know like if they love my work, they can wear it. They can do whatever, you know, like because, you know, they they're using it and I just really love to just be like pretty much a freelancer. I want to like make my own work and just put it out there to to show to others and and you know they like and support me I, I will always love that because that's like the highlight of my day every day where you wake up and you know people are out there that support you for your artwork because it's not easy to get out there also especially as an artist it, it, it's very tough mm -hmm. it's for sure very tough but the more you continue and the more you put into it you start to see results for sure but um mm. Yeah. Yeah. I used Masa, to be I... like you. Uh, yeah. I used to be thinking like you a long time ago. Like I want to be my own boss and doing more work alone. But mm -hmm. after that, you realize when you meet someone and they share the same goal like me or you, then you realize that your resources can be added to a better purpose and then you sort of create teamwork got them in the tracking system i really hate it and um <laughs> I know that once you create a teamwork <laughs> then you it's sort of doing your own stuff but added to sort of working with friends sort of speaking and then it does give the same feeling of working alone but you're not mm -hmm. but you're doing what you like oh yeah for sure yeah um i definitely understand what where you come from from that because mm -hmm. i always like as long like even though like i'm not doing corporate work as long as i know that like this person likes to like you know like they share a common like goal especially when you're trying to be your own boss like start i don't know, like your own company or business or something right if you're trying to start that and you know if you share that if, if you can share the, these ambitions and intentions and goals you can really like start to get the drive to really to, to really begin to really make your your you know your, your company and that's what i really love about being your own boss because you can like literally do like you can make your own your own content your own brand and you have full control of it like personally i personally i'm not the guy that i would like to wake up every day and 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 go to the um nine to five job but that's that's me because it's just like i just don't enjoy it i realize i like to do my own things like i i like that full control of what i do in terms of yeah, my yeah. career yeah yeah i don't but i'm not i'm i'm not a nine to five person as well mm -hmm. <clears throat> let's go i'm, I'm a corporate <laughs> that, that's really good <laughs> hmm? corporate fit you said corporate wage wage slave ah wage sorry <laughs> A corporate wage mm -hmm. slave, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it's actually deep undercover. So you said you wanted to enter into one of the the virtual markets or a cross market or something. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. well, like, you, um, it's, that's a bit of a barrier though, because you 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 only speak a little Japanese, right? Yeah, that's the so. that's the uh, downside, unfortunately. <laughs> but do you do you think do you think you're gonna be able to do it? Are you, do you got a handle on it or? Oh yeah, for sure. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm I'm currently studying strictly because like a lot of my art style revolves around um the Japanese um manga style, and mm -hmm. you know if I don't know Japanese to communicate with the with you know like uh the native like you know like you know na um, na native japanese speakers how how am i supposed to get around like i I don't know what to do so like you're just generally better off just practicing the japanese language mm -hmm. and then because like 
because I know when I learn the language, a lot more opportunities and doors will open for me for sure. And um, mm-hmm. that's why I want to tackle that. Because the reason why I want to like, you know, like, like, the, like the virtual market, like when I was new to VR chat, a friend showed me like virtual market, like in 2017 or 2018. I don't remember, but mm-hmm. When I saw everything, I saw these booths and I didn't even know that this market existed in VR chat. Like I, I did not know at all. Like is I was it, astonished. <laughs> is, is it, it pretty is, unknown on the English speaking side? Um, I'd say so. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's pretty common in the West for people to go to the virtual market. I would assume mm-hmm. it's like an Eastern thing. It's not a Western thing. Because um, VR chat is actually filled with a lot of, um, well, on the West side in specific, like a lot of repetitive assets being reused and, mm-hmm. and there's no variety there, there. There's no like, you know, you could say dazzled to it because it's just the same thing mm-hmm. you look at every day. But of course, you know, there, but of course, you know, there's a small group in the West that knows about the virtual market and they don't, don't usually use the average model that you see every day, of course. Mm-hmm. so um i would say that it's not it's not as common in the west but i think it should because if it does that can definitely really um promote the virtual market even more and it could probably even change the current standards of, of vr chat models also yeah. in the in the west in specific of course i have i haven't really been around like the eastern side lately because well i'm trying to a, but sorry there's a big cost difference between the avatars isn't there typically like a, the, the sort of the western canon and the japanese con- canon yeah like you you, mm. you might pay you know over uh you know thousand yen for uh mm-hmm. for a japanese model like a hundred us dollars or something um if it's right? pre-made yes if it's pre-made yeah. um like um the prices actually are the same in the west and the east like if you have a western mm-hmm. um artist sell a model on booth for example mm-hmm. um the prices are actually pretty similar because they're pre-made mm-hmm. and like i'm pretty sure if they keep adding more it's just gonna well you know like um if they price any high it's just gonna be excessive at that point but if you're doing a custom model, a custom model can range to like a thousand dollars to two thousand oh, dollars because it'd be because yeah. yeah, and the reason why is because you know making a model from scratch it takes t- months, weeks, mm-hmm. or even more than a month. Um, so you know, like the artist needs to be paid accordingly, of course, mm-hmm. because it takes a lot of time to do, especially getting the style that they desire. Because three D, like three D. It's an art for sure. It, it's it's an art, but it's also very technical. If you don't understand the technicalities behind it, you may not be able to get around on average to create what you really want to create from an artistic perspective. Mm-hmm. And um, okay. yeah. I have a final question. Mm-hmm. With with uh, your with your creator's eye, what is one um. What is the one improvement or suggestion for my avatar? Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. Honestly, if there is one thing for improvement, it mm-hmm. it, it usually always lacks um, on average. Like people really oversee this. Um, adding like a shine to your skin really, really really makes the avatar start to really pop out more Mm -hmm. um like what i say like speculator i say like you know like i don't like a dab of white and then like you blur it out or something type to type of thing Mm -hmm. that's that's why i say you 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 can add further for your model um i mean you can also add additional shadow to like um you could say like um the leg leg part like your the the shorts like if if mm-hmm. if, if, you, if you like if you like paint in shadow under the leg it'll, mm-hmm. it'll, it'll start to give it more depth and when it gives more depth like you can distinguish what what's what what's under and what's not you can do that mm-hmm. too for sure but overall it looks Ooh. good i like it those, yeah. those are good suggestions <laughs> mm-hmm. you know all this situation it reminds me of uh, you know those guys that work for fashion and they say how the people that they should dress or uh, look like. Is it called aesthetic? I know. Uh, fashion model. Aesthetic? Uh, aesthetic. Mm. 
A stylist, yes. The, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like a fashion stylist. stylist? Yeah. Yeah, fashion stylist. Oh, yeah, like... You, know, you could... You, you could have, like, oh. a hairstylist booth where you just take somebody's avatar and do minor alterations for them. Oh, Give them a say, haircut. Oh, I think it should be... Like, yeah, giving suggestions. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, especially as, like, a 3D model, like, you were like you're like a stylist like you know like like a fashionista like you would just dress them up and then you start texturing them and then you're like a like a i don't know the name but like you're like a makeup artist like you know like like you specialize in makeup because everything you see here and uh you know like all other faces around that that's a model someone at the sit down and do the makeup um like that's mm -hmm. that, that that's also a study like i i do like i have to study a lot of makeup um especially like mm -hmm. you know like specific types of, of like hair like things like that when and like you know like when you start to really get that down packed you can start to really make interesting characters for sure and like remember did, hmm? was, do you remember when i said i had one more question yeah i lied do you, oh. what do you think the, the next what do you think the next big thing in avatars is, is going to be like colliders or some shaders or the next big thing hmm yeah well what's what's it what's it going to be that really starts setting a avatar apart making people interested in mm, it trying to see um in terms of style i realize that sci-fi or mecha style avatars are not common in vr chat and i realize a lot of people go wow that looks really good personally mm. i think i think in my opinion at least from what i observe is i think like mech like you know humanoid mech style characters something like you know like fantasy star online 2 for example i'm, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure you you all heard of it um it, it, it it's very heavy in sci-fi and like mech type of things mm. or like armored core for example um i think i think i think i think if they're more like robotic or mech looking humanoid characters i think people will get that more on average because it's not something you see every day in vr chat in specific of course but i think that would definitely be the, like a cool thing especially like having like you know like transformers like let's say like you have like a robotic hand and then like the hand comes off or something like it moves like you know it's like an augmented hand or something and that's not easy that's... to make actually but it's doable i've seen it it's definitely possible yeah a robot hand sounds good it can't be my left hand though my left hand is pretty evil it's got to be my right hand <laughs> There's a lot to 3D modeling that, a lot more than just uh, adjusting the texture or something. So it's a real art form, but I think this uh, sci-fi thrust is really good news for the cyberpunk community. Yeah, that'll be really popular. Now where's my robo hand? I think we'll get one. Yeah. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video! If you like it, please give us a comment and subscribe our channel! See you in next video!